Hi friends, it's Susan from Art with Susan. We're back in my studio and for the last two weeks we've been looking at the paintings of David Hockney. We were very inspired by the way he paints trees and we looked at some of those paintings on the computer together and now we're going to look at those paintings from this book. We can experience art in a number of ways. We can see it in person at a museum and we can see reproductions. Do you see trees in this painting? What's going on in this painting? Are there many trees? Are there lots of beautiful colors? Are the trees in a landscape? David Hockney painted trees in all seasons. I wanted to show you a picture of Mr. Hockney painting outside. Can you see how many panels he's painting? Can you count them? That's a big painting. Can you see how he organizes his materials? I thought that was interesting to see how other artists work. I wanted to show you this painting. What season do you think this painting is taking place in? Are there little things growing? Are there a lot of leaves on the trees? What season do you think this is? Are there a lot of leaves and lots of things growing? Look at the shadows. I thought that was really beautiful. So we started by working on paintings as we talked about David Hockney and we use these materials, paper, crayons, and watercolor. And as we started talking about making our trees, we started with crayons and we thought about curved lines and we thought about straight lines. We went from the top to bottom. We went from side to side. We made big shapes. We made little shapes. We made some rough marks. We made some gentle marks. And then we used our watercolor paint and we could see transparency. We could still see our crayon marks as we used our watercolor paint. And that was really beautiful. This week we used paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls to make inspired trees. So here's one of the trees you made in one of the classes and you can see we found collage materials with different texture. We have sandpaper, bubble wrap, we used paper, and we built the tree from the tube and let it grow right up. So for this project the materials we need paper towel roll which we cut and we made roots and then we taped it down and then we used different glue, scissors, and paint to make beautiful trees and every tree was different. Some of our trees actually you could make grow <laughs> like this one. Anyway, I'm glad you came to do art with me. I hope you can enjoy it and maybe do this lesson again and always be inspired. You make beautiful things, friends. Thanks for coming. Bye.